Today we are off-roading on an old historic wagon trail road <laughs> that's right behind us and it is super steep. Let's get going and see what we can find and see if we can make it through. Ah, let's go! Very steep. Steve. This section has been seriously rutted out, which means the off timber is very real. As you can see, it's looking past the other side. This dugout section is actually rather long and somewhat steep. such a fun trail. I think it's because it's so scenic, kind of remote feeling, and the historic value is really fun on it too, but so much more fun with a little side-by-side -side because you're just dodging through the trees and it's just a good little go-kart. If you drive a full truck through here like I've done many years past, you're just, every time you're just squeezing by the trees and you're trying to pay so much attention and not break out a window or bust in a quarter panel, it's a lot different experience. I think this is just a lot more entertaining fun. We found a crazy hill climb. This will be the second hill climb, but as you can see, that stump right there makes it rather difficult because you get kind of tipped into it. Peter's coming up right now. And the hill, I'm about halfway up the hill. It's really steep. So he'll go ahead and continue on and then I'll hike it up there. Well, it took me a bit to get up here. Ooh, wheels in the air! Oh, no problem! You got it, you got it! Okay! That's a scary one to start back up on. It's hard to walk on. I actually slid right down the hill path here, trying to get out of his way. peak we went exploring I don't know if you can see it but there's the mountain and the snow and the whole entire valley looking down this is amazing it's good. we found the bridges and no problem 
one of the fun things with the Nachi's Trail is all the historic sites along the way and the beautiful spots. This is just off of the Pacific Crest Trail and we hiked down here, that oh, was maybe half a mile to this little cabin. It's Camp Mike Urch Cabin. Let's go take a look inside. It's pretty neat. This whole cabin is stocked with wood. They've been cutting and you can see there's a really nice wood burning stove there. And then over here is a ladder and a loft. So you can overnight here if you are on the Pacific Crest Trail. And uh, what a nice little spot. They have some uh, pit toilets in the back, but what a great little stop off here if you're on the Pacific Crest Trail or if you're out here in the wilderness exploring. I think it's beautiful. It's really, really pretty. And the people that maintain it do a really great job. They left lots of stuff for the backpackers if they needed it so that they could have wood for warmth. And I think there's uh, little canisters for cooking. Then they put toilets back there for maintenance. And they have asked that people keep it clean and not leave any trash behind. And I think that's a very understandable request. It's a beautiful place. This is one of the fun historic markers along the Nachis Trail. And it says, over this spot in 1853, past the wagon wheels of the pioneers seeking homes in the evergreen wonderland of Puget Sound via the dangerous Nachis Pass. Thanks to their courage and encouragement, this high country was opened to settlement and civilization. Of course, I think this trail has been altered over the years. Bridge Adventures! Nazi's trail has actually been a lot of fun. Even though there's been a lot of fun, there's just a lot of different things to see on it. Once you get over that, you're gonna have a bit of a drop. There's a big root on that tree. Yay! Wow, little alarm makes This section of the forest is just kind of a nice little bumpy, beautiful section. We found an epic lunch spot. I think we're about two thirds of the way through the trail, but it is absolutely beautiful. We're out of the meadow and away from the mosquitoes finally. But this is our view. Very nice place. We're coming towards almost the end of the Nachis Trail and it's been pretty tame for the last few sections and now we've got some pretty steep off camber angly turns. That's a very, very sharp turn. Ooh, nice look. Camber roots and trees. 
This section's quite a tight and windy thing, I tell ya. Even for little R, it's, it's just a thing, I tell ya. That looks better. Um, you're gonna hit this root and it's gonna pull you straight up into that tree. see we're still just ooh. okay we're touching but it's too late it's literally barely touching Ooh, there we go we're pulling away pulling away whoop, whoop. yay that was harder than I remember to be and it was hard before <laughs> Faith is doing the trail driving now she likes this type of trail area it's more of a Whoops and off camber ruts rather than full on steep and big rocks. It's true. ATVs, well, let's see. Uh, if the park in the sun with a black seat, it gets super smoking hot. My butt was on fire. I had to park in the shade, let it cool off a little bit. We completed the Nachi's Pass Trail. That was super awesome. What'd you think of it? First time for you on here, right? I thought it was a lot of fun. It was absolutely beautiful too. Yeah, the scenery, really cool. The historical significance is really cool. There are some fun obstacles. However, it's sad to see some of the areas getting torn up on the side. Definitely tread lightly if you guys yeah. come out here, try not to spin your tires so we can keep this open for other people in the future use. But what a fun, beautiful area. And oh man, definitely up on the top favorites for the Northwest area. Super thumbs up. Give us yep. thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to stay tuned for our future upcoming adventures. We have some really cool places we're headed coming up next. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye.